Good evening, everybody. Hope you're all well. Um, I'm doing uh, one of my first evening lives inside, indoors at my desk. So I'm just hanging on a second to make sure that it's all working okay because I'm not used to doing it here. It looks it looks okay. Um, excuse my finger now because this is ah the phone. So I'm waiting for our guest tonight, Dahlia Holly, to join me. And when she does, I'll be able to bring her on screen. So if you're out there watching us, say hello. Uh, let us know that we're not talking to ourselves. <laughs> um, and Dahlia, if you're there watching this, can you request to join? I don't think I can add you. Aha. I think we're going to work it. Hello, Anna Gagan. You're very welcome. this working. I think I have. It says adding. It's looking very hopeful. I have a cup of tea and look, it really is tea. It's not even anything stronger. Oh, hello. Oh, I can see you. Yay. <laughs> Good evening. It worked. Yeah, I couldn't find the volume and I was panicking, thinking like, oh my God, um, <laughs> I had like everything set up and I just thought, oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's always the something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's, there's always something with these things. Thanks a million for joining us, Dahlia. No, no worries. Thank you so much for having me. It's been really, you know, yeah, it's just a really cool thing to do, isn't it? I think. Uh, it is, yeah. And especially, I suppose, in our... Uh, world where you know things kind of do quieten down over the winter it's nice to um, yeah. have something to keep the pot boiling to keep us all interested over the winter so um yeah. so i know we have a couple of big people um online this evening so you're very welcome everybody um to do all that business with the liking and the hearts and all that because apparently it does work i don't know does everybody just say that or <laughs> but anyway it won't do any harm <laughs> So um, this is my guest tonight is Dahlia and she specialises, actually, do you know what Dahlia, you tell them what you specialise in instead of me um, speaking for you, uh, you go ahead and introduce yourself maybe. Oh dear, Dahlia's frozen. Hmm. Oh, you're back, you're back. Yeah, it's weird, as soon as I put my headphones on, it just froze it. So I've just, uh, yeah. it, all, it might come back again. There we go. I'm back. There we go. <laughs> Great. So I was just saying to oh, make you introduce yourself and just explain what you what you do um, might be the best thing. Yeah. Of course. First of all, I must apologise. I've got a terrible cold. So please don't take this face <laughs> as an advert for my products because <laughs> my skin's gone so blotchy and my eye bags are like you know, shopping bags. Um, yeah. Oh, so you poor thing. So yes, this is not an advert. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm I'm Dali. <laughs> I'm Dali from Dali Botanique. Um, I'm based in Yorkshire, and I create skincare for people who love going or being outdoors. And it's all based on um, my love of gardening. Fantastic! That's that's brilliant. Yeah. Like it's so interesting because. Um, well, like anybody who works outdoors, um, you, you know, I have noticed my own, especially my hands, like sure my face, but especially my hands uh, coming yeah. under major attack. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I don't wear the gloves enough, you know, which I know you should, but sometimes things are too fiddly uh, to do with the gloves. And yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I do all the mistakes, but I suppose like it's not just us is it like it's farmers and every you know so many people um even truck drivers and stuff getting in and out of trucks like there's lots of people yeah. who suffer from the same yeah you know definitely, definitely. And I do, what is I it is it, the, is it the air or what what is it that's um causes the skin you know that, that makes your skin so dry and yeah it's a condition if you think about it i mean i do like a lot of sort of off-road you know running and cycling it's the same with that it's that you're often in quite extreme different temperatures and then you're saying you might be especially in winter you know you're going from somewhere that's very hot 
um, you know, like I'm sat by the radiator right now, that's probably sucking all the moisture out of my skin. Mm -hmm. If I go outside, you know, my skin's getting battered from that. If it's sunny, you've obviously got then you've got to be careful of, of um, you know, sun damage, obviously making sure you're wearing a mm -hmm. high factor on your skin as well. So yeah, you do get kind of more exposed to various elements as well, I would say. So from the sun um, and, and the risk that that can bring, obviously, you know, still go out in the sun, but wear, make sure you wear like factor 50. Um, or, you know, going from like the heat to the cold, the heat to the cold, and, and that can have, you know, especially if you're sat in like air-conditioned or like a, you know, heated room, you know, that can suck the moisture out from your skin as well. So you just have to be, you know, you just have to be aware of that. Our skin can sometimes be quite, quite dry and quite... Yeah. Like yeah, I was thinking lately too, the, it's windy here as well lately, which yeah. can't help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. great exfoliation. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, like that's how I look. Yeah. I don't know, I'm actually looking quite all right tonight. Sometimes on these cameras I look dreadful, but um, uh, yeah, so, anyway, we'll, I'll take it when it's coming. <laughs> so I see a couple more on. Hi Amy, you're very welcome as well. Um, Hi. <laughs> so how did you get into okay so like I, I know we all know that this is the problem but how did you get into making skincare products to help oh so when i was younger i used to love making you know sort of lotions and potions for, for friends and family and i always used to experiment with different things like balms and stuff like that and oils um and so it kind of started way back when I won't go into the whole long story because I'll be here all night. But before COVID, I had a, a massage business and mm -hmm. I started working with an aromatherapist to make massage oils because I was doing sports massage. And, um, you know, that was a really good way to bring in, you know, sort of a bit of extra income, but also it was still using the things that I was really passionate about. And then obviously, when lockdown happened, I lost, mm -hmm. you know, I lost my business basically. Um, and then I moved from my city flat, where I used to live in Leeds, to, to quite a rural place where my other half is. Uh, and I started doing up his garden. And I had a, quite a lot of time on my hands. Most of us did a lot of So I enrolled in a couple of um, some skincare schools. I was quite lucky that my old massage clients, you know, bought vouchers off me and, and you know, really helped me out. So I invested in um, some skincare schools and the same time when I was doing at Mark's Garden I was suddenly like oh we're talking about some of the plants that I'm working with the flowers that we're growing we're talking about them in our course you know that like oh this is so cool because you always think they're from a mystical foreign land you know mm. and actually the ones that I'm growing in my garden so it all kind of started from there and I just started researching a lot more about especially you know at the time I was doing a lot of walks and um going to wild meadows and seeing wild flowers, you know, things that I haven't really experienced that much in the city. And then my parents were a very keen gardeners, but when you're young, you don't often have that interest. So it was only really in the last couple of years that I was like, wow, there's such a crossover here. This is amazing. And then it just started from there. Yeah, like, it, 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 you know, <laughs> it's like a lot of things. It seems obvious afterwards, <laughs> you know, when you go to, yeah, duh, that is there all along. But yeah, yeah. It, it's true. And, and like what what makes the natural products a better option or do you even say that or i'm saying that so i don't want to be putting words <laughs> in your mouth <laughs> um so yeah i could talk about this for ages but again i'll try and compress it uh and i'm always happy to have a chat with people you know another time people often think that natural is better but i always say well poisons are natural but we wouldn't put them on our skin um Things like essential oils, they're natural, but they're very, very toxic if you're not using them properly. You know, I get like special um, uh, recommendations on how to dispose of bottles, you know, <laughs> that gives you an indication if they're, to you know, they're not used properly or disposed properly, they are, you know, they are quite toxic. Um, so I'm very, uh, one of my kind of arguments towards natural is good, but it's not always better it's not always better for the environment because we're taking um plants out of their natural place to use and the more that people are wanting skincare producing skincare the more we're taking away from the land um 
and same as you know a natural product doesn't necessarily mean it's it's a safer product or is better for us a lot of stuff that's coming up now is um is it nature identical lab produced ingredients which i think is really good it's kind of recreating that that ingredient in a um in a laboratory i think one of the recent ones was rose oil because you can only use rose oil in like 0.02 percent or something like really tiny percent but actually if you were to produce that in a lab you could use more of it because it would be made to safety standards yeah um so for me the natural thing is always um i feel it's a bit of a marketing gimmick because people can then add a higher price point to it as well so synthetic you know like depends what you're what you'd class as not natural but i would almost say that if you find a product and it works for you it works do you know what I mean? <laughs> um it doesn't matter you know i i get quite bad eczema sometimes i find the only thing that works is a high grade you know um prescribed cream and that's fine. get the heavy guns out yeah but yeah so yeah. i think yeah just be aware that that something that's natural doesn't necessarily mean it's safe. Well, that's so interesting. Yeah. Yeah. A very refreshing to hear somebody in in the business that you're in being so um, straight up about that because yeah, I, I, like even me, I would have assumed, you know, um, well yeah, you think it's all nice and fluffy and <laughs> what yeah. harm can it do? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just for anybody just, who joined us, I think um, so, um, we have somebody there. This is Dahlia from uh, Dahlia Botanique, who um, uh, specialises in skincare for gardeners and those working outdoors. So she uses a lot of natural ingredients, but we've just been discussing that sometimes it's, it's, um, it's not always natural good, synthetic bad, basically. So yeah, oh, definitely. And a lot of vitamins, you know, I use like different kind of vitamin compounds in some of the products I'm working on now. And they're, they're lab produced because you can't you just can't produce them in, in a natural environment um so you know that's i've got no issue with that and i think i won't <laughs> to me in after a while. but i remember i listened to a you know a really good podcast that said that sometimes people put a very high price point and a guilt factor on a natural product or you know if you're not buying natural or you're, you're not looking after yourself you're not looking after the environment but actually that's not the case at all so my recommendation is always if you find a product that works don't worry <laughs> just 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 use it you know it doesn't matter a lot yeah. you know that a lot of products have to go through very strict especially in the uk we have to go through very strict testing to get products in the market i know in, in the past every now and again there's been a product that's had to be recalled but compared to all the products that get put out there it's very few you know it's like one percent in hundreds of products that get put out there so yeah 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 look at absolutely you know uh, yeah you have to take a pragmatic sort of view that yes the odd thing slips through but you're yeah, only looking definitely. at the glass half empty that way really aren't you yeah and i've always said that if i knew that i could reproduce my products in the lab and that it saved all the or anyone could and it saved the you know the the flowers to be and the plants to be wild especially then that would be fantastic you know that'd be mm. great <laughs> and you could just leave nature to it so yeah so i think that's that's one of the points as well so cool Hopefully that um, makes sense. <laughs> yeah no it does totally it does totally and actually my own background is is in um the chemicals industry actually in plastics which you can't mention at all <laughs> so, <laughs> <you know. laughs> <laughs> that's another interesting topic because i have yeah so, so, so talk about that another yeah yeah but i would have been involved in packaging for the you know different skincare and cosmetic uh, yeah. customers at times so i um i'd have some understanding of what's involved in the regulatory side of it yeah so it's 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 like it's it is fascinating and it, it's um there's a temptation i think to paint everything black and white and this is bad and this is good and god yeah, like yeah. it's it's very um sort of simplistic really isn't it so um oh absolutely yeah. and i never want anyone to feel guilty about buying an ingredient because it's cheaper because it has might have more synthetic you know um, ingredients in or anything like that you know i don't want someone to feel like they have to buy a hundred mil organic body wash for their family for it's going to only last them a week for no minimum wage do you know what i mean like no you don't need to buy that it's fine you can buy you know a supermarket owned brand for that know, yeah brand yeah wash or something that's like a quid and it will still be equally as fine to use so yeah 
That's great. Um, so then, though, just I suppose going back the other way, then is is there anything in your average garden that we might be overlooking that we could make use of, or that we, you know, are walking past every day? Um, <laughs> yeah. So I discovered um, Lunaria. So do you know Lunaria. Um, what's it? It's got like a, a circle. Uh, is it like moon shaped with little seeds in? Uh, the it's like uh, pink petals. It's like three, four petals. Hang on, hang on, hang on. on. Grows wild. Lunaria. Lunaria, yeah. Lunaria. Oh, it's like a little moss kind of thing. Is it? No. Lunaria. Oh, I held on, hold on, nice. I'm probably know it when I see it <laughs> now. Oh, honesty. Yeah, yeah, I know it now. Yeah, yeah. oh, that's what. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name for it, so my head's just so foggy. I couldn't remember the No, name that's for okay. It. So the two of us are rumbled. I don't know the name of the plants. <laughs> <laughs> that's the word. That's the word. So Lunari has got um again, apologies for my head, but it's got some really like really powerful compounds in it. It's so good for skin. Um uh, I actually used um tomato seed oil. So tomatoes really yeah. they can be upcycled so they're taken from the food industry yeah and then they're purposed by um companies for cosmetics so it's a really dry oil but again it's really full of vitamins and nutrients um grape seeds so grapes as well it's fantastic um i've been doing some work on some new products with broccoli broccoli seed oil really? um, and that's i think that's got almost identical um texture to to like a silicone oil okay. so it's really really good to use to, instead of silicones um so that's really nice and mushroom mushroom extract as well so yeah there's so much <laughs> so right. that, that's really that's, that's like really interesting <laughs> yeah. yeah i did it um I did a talk in the group last week um, with a lady who, you know, is much more interested in growing edibles than, than I am. But she was yeah. explaining you could eat tulips and, uh, no, not all of it, yeah. but petals. Or so. Yeah, yeah. And I was, like, I knew about some of them, but I was like, tulips. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's amazing what's on our doorstep that we take for granted and don't, we don't, we've lost touch with so much, really, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, probably our grandparents knew a bit better than we do, but you know, should have, oh, we're, we're, oh, yeah. we're trying yeah, to put it right, yeah. Yeah, I remember my grandma used to, um, I've still got the book actually, it was like cottage um, recipes or something, and there were things in there like how to make a lavender hair wash with fresh lavender and chamomile, and I remember she used to do it for me, you know, she used to mm. like rinse my hair in lavender or chamomile, it was just something that I grew up with, you know. Wow. That's what we did. So, yeah, I can't remember the. Oh, I can always put it, her picture of it. It's so old, her page is falling out, but it's got all these amazing recipes in from. Oh, that's people. lovely. Yeah. Is there any chance you'd give us a, a recipe for the lavender one or anything? Because I know an awful lot of the group do grow lavender. It would be brilliant. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that would that, um, be fab. That would be fab. It, and especially yeah. when it's a heritage one as well. Like, you know, that's really. Yeah. Yeah. I made a really good video on um, using uh, lavender to make lavender room bags. Yeah. So that's really good. Yeah, so I can definitely pass that on. Oh, that's amazing. Thanks. Because um, yeah, it's one of the things, um, like I try and talk a little bit, um, not to bore my audience altogether, but I do try and talk a little bit about all the... Um, I suppose benefits to your mental health that gardening brings, you know, and one of the things that I talk about is the connection with people you love, you know, through um, memories of plants that grew in gardens, you know, belonging to your parents yeah. or grandparents or, or whatever, and presents that you get from people. And um, I don't know, it helps you know, it, it makes the garden so much more meaningful for you when you're out in it and brings you so much more um, enjoyment, I think, when you're um, thinking of it beyond just the nuts and bolts of growing yeah, the plant and the, the season yeah. cycles and all of that. So the, the idea that it's somebody's grand's recipe is just so sweet, like, really, it's lovely. Oh, they knew all the best ones, I think, definitely. Oh, they are, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so is there, is there any plant you think everyone should have in the garden that, you know, we're, we're missing out? Um, 
Oh, that's biased, isn't it? Because they're my favourite. I've got some of my You're favorite. allowed. Um, see, I, I love lavender. <laughs> I, you know, I love it. I love the smell. You know, every time I go past, I haven't chopped it down yet, even though it's drying. It had a bit of a come back again because mm. it's you know, so warm. So I've just, I haven't had the heart to cut it back because it's still there. But I always have to go and just rub with it between my fingers and just smell it. Um, I really want to grow uh, Roman chamomile next year just because of the smell of it. This, I found some growing rooms in the, the uh, meadows near me. I could just smell it as soon as you like, you know, walk in. It's like, oh, this is amazing. So definitely chamomile. And you can make tea with it as well. So it's perfect. Oh, well, yeah. I, I have chamomile in my garden. I tried making tea and nearly poisoned my daughter. <laughs> so um, they've just said, no, no teas, mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it another word. I think I think I let it go. First of all, I didn't dry them first, which I realise now you probably should do. And yeah. then um I think I let it stew way too long. It's stew being the operative word. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more careful next time. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you totally on lavender though. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Absolutely. I love it myself. Um yeah, I do. Um, although it can be, we live in a wet part of the world here, it can, you have to pick your spot for it carefully because it doesn't really like getting too wet. So, um, yeah, we could do with a bit more of the sunshine as part of the global warming package, I think, um, for the lavender. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So, come here, um, you might tell us a little bit about your own business and the products that you sell, um, Dahlia, as well. Yeah, of course. So I have a couple of products. Um, when I first set up, I released uh, some body butters. Um, and so they are kind of more my winter style products. Um, I've got a range of body oils, which um, everyone loves. I love them. I've got three different types. I've got lavender, obviously, rose geranium, because I grew some of that this year. I can't remember mm -hmm. the last name for it, but it's just, I love the smell. I don't, yeah, I could just sit there with it and drop. Um, and also a um, bergamot uh, body oil. Uh, I've got a botanical serum, which is based on um, the UK botanicals. So we've got borage, got lunaria, in there got white poppy. Poppy is another really good um, product for skin. Uh, rose hip as well in there. Um, they've all got a uh, coenzyme Q10 in, which is um, an sort of a so it's, I say yeast, but I don't mean that in a horrible way. It's a really powerful, that's how it's kind of formulated, but it's a really powerful antioxidant, so it's really good for repairing um, the appearance of, of any sun damage you might have. Um, I've got a, a, a cleanser, so it's a, it's a oil to milk, so when it comes to contact with water, it washes off like a, a, a milk wash. Um, and that's got hibiscus in. Oh, my serum's got hibiscus. I grew some hibiscus this year. I, I was really proud and then I went to the farmer, uh, the canary yard, and they just had these massive hibiscus. <laughs> oh, I was just like, and then my, I come home to my like fiddly little one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I was supposed to win that. Um, and I've got a lip balm as well, which is really good. Lip and body balm, so it's multifunctional, so you can use it on dry patches. I use it on my elbows. Um, I can use it on my hand, I can use it on my nose because it's so red and blurry. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So yeah, poor thing. Yeah, that that sounds amazing. And where can people check out your product range? Where's the handiest place to go? So my website, which is, and I can always put it in. Uh, or oh, do. In the comments, yeah. pop it in the group. Um, so it's w. <laughs> Hang in there. We're nearly finished. <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's, it's distracting me. It's because I keep wanting to just sleep and. If I go to bed now, I'm going to get up at like four o'clock. So it's good to have nice things because I've been feeling a bit sorry for myself as well. So having nice things to do is making it so no, this is really good. Um, it's www.daliabotanique.co.uk. Oh, that's, that as well. that's fantastic. Um, yeah. So so that's where to go. And you're on Instagram as well, um, Dali, yeah? yeah. And Facebook is Dali Botanique, so you should be able to find me. Okay, okay, okay. Well. Yeah. yeah, we'll definitely pop your links um, in the comments or wherever wherever you like. Put them into the main group yeah. if you want, whichever you think is the handiest. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, because I'm sure there will be people who will be interested in the, yeah, the, yeah, because yeah, we, we all, um, we all know the, the story of the, the sore hands and the, the, the windswept face, so that's, yeah. that's brilliant. And I'm terrible yeah. for it as well, because I like to feel the soil, and, and like you, I kind of, if something's quite fiddly, like I was, I was de-weeding, I was pulling up some old plants, and I was planting some bulbs, and in the end I was just like, oh, I'm just going to take my gloves off, because I want to like feel things better with some of the gloves are mm. quite thick ones just not the same but then you're just scrubbing your nails first oh yeah <laughs> my nails are forget about it a write-off yeah yeah have yeah. you a nail serum that could be next <laughs> gardening gloves oh nails gardening gloves or nails pardon what did you say could be next a nail serum well, there is a cuticle oil, and I was was I was wondering actually. I know I know a good recipe for it, and I was like, would people buy it? I don't know. Mm. I'm looking at a hand cream for next year, so that's my next gardener's hand cream for next year, hopefully. Yeah, that I think that's a great idea, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, well, when when you um do get around to releasing that, let us know because I'm sure there'll be people who'll be snapping that up for sure in the group. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, not at all. Well, listen, thank you very much um for speaking with me this evening. It's been fascinating, actually, and I've done my best to keep my little chemical head <laughs> under control. <laughs> We can talk afterwards. I like talking chemical things. So yeah, we can be nerdy afterwards. <laughs> Fantastic. And I hope you feel better soon. Take care of yourself. Oh, you know, honey and lemon is very good of you. <laughs> I've got some lemon. I've got some local honey. I'm going to do That's that. It. But the thing I'm most annoyed about is that I wanted to plant my bulbs and I've only done half and I've just thought, and then I was thinking, oh, I'll go and do some. But then it was poorly, and now it's just constant rain. So I'm just like, oh, oh I know it's yeah. the weather. Well, I, like I don't know what it's like in Yorkshire. This the last few weeks is just the rain here has been phenomenal, phenomenal. Yeah. Like I mean, we're used to rain. You know, it's not like um, rain's a new thing, but it's really like I hope. Hopefully, it remembers to stop, or it'll be a miserable winter for a lot of people. So anyway, mm. hopefully, but anyway, today was beautiful. So I'll take today. Yeah. We'll send that over to you. <laughs> All right, Dalia, take care of yourself. Get into bed Thank with the copper. So Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.